We're learning more tonight about one of the most gruesome attacks in recent memory. Now, a Pawtucket man is recovering after having his entire ear bitten off during a fight with a drunken co-worker. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson has reaction from the victim with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. It's a story that almost seems too crazy to believe. A man gets his ear completely bitten off by a friend. Now that man tells me he has no idea what he's going to do next. Pawtucket resident Jeremy Hilton thought he was in for a fun Saturday night out with a co-worker. But things quickly took a turn for the worse when he says he tried to stop that co-worker from drinking and driving. He got outside and he wanted to you know, drive off and I tried to stop him and that's when he assaulted me. Out of nowhere, Hilton says the co-worker, 21-year-old Nicholas Parley of Providence, grabbed his head and bit a big chunk out of his ear. Knocking so me to the ground and then it's... Got the tug on my ear. I didn't realize it at the time. But. Hilton says he went into shock and was taken to Rhode Island Hospital, where his wife, Maria Medeiros, found him hours later. I freaked out. He had a bandage around his neck. When I haven't seen his ear, I couldn't believe what I saw. Doctors attempted to reattach Hilton's ear, but were unsuccessful. I'm very, very angry because he's disabled now. This is not just he took something off. He took his ear off. And I have a little boy that, that's traumatized by this. Hilton is hoping to get a prosthetic ear, but says he doesn't have the money to pay for it. As for the suspect, Parley was arrested by Pawtucket police and charged with one count of mutilation or disabling. This kid needs to get punished. He needs to stay in jail for a long time. Him getting out is not going to, I'm not going to be happy. I just, I, I'm speechless. I, I just don't know how, how he could have done that to me. Hilton tells me the next step is heading back to Rhode Island Hospital to meet with a doctor next week. With the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.